everybody in here sitting out on my porch having my coffee watching my puppies Sonny's stuck down there in the little flower bed <laughs> I tell you what these these puppies are giving me a run for my money look at these cute puppies they're up on the bed such cutie pies <laughs> what are you doing Papa you good boy Are you guys ready for a nap yet? Yeah, Sunny is. <laughs> Sunny does not like to be cold. This one, he's just a beast. Don't tear up that afghan. <laughs> they love playing on this bed. Look at look at Sunny. Cutest puppy ever. <laughs> Just look. He's so tiny but he's growing. Finally calming down. Are we? Why don't you go snuggle with your brother? He's cold. I may get a little blankie and put it over over this one. He just shivers when he's cold. Are you hiccuping? <laughs> Look at this face. Look, you guys. <laughs> You're a sweetheart. Now oh, there's a first. Papa's laying down next to the baby puppies. They're over there. Maybe he's starting to get used to them. But Papa, when he's inside the tiny house, he loves to be up on that bed. You're a good boy. Good, good boy. That's a little bit better. Um, I don't think it's puppy proof, but um, at least they can't get into there. Hopefully they won't be able to get underneath of here. We'll just have to wait and see. Over here I've got a little bit more chicken wire. This is the uh, whiter kind, so I kind of tried to scrunch it together. It only goes to right here, but I think I may have another remnant I can put right here. Um, Besides down here, that's pretty close to the ground and there's some stuff holding it down so hopefully they can't get through there. But, huh, so far this part is working, so that's good. I'm drying out more of those honey mushrooms. I've got like maybe a quarter of a jar of them so far. They really shrink down a lot. I picked these two pumpkins. This one had already kind of, well, it started splitting. Um, I think I told you this already. Maybe, maybe not. Um, it rained a whole bunch and it started splitting. It didn't split all the way through, so hopefully the flesh inside will still be good. This one just came off the vine yesterday when I was, you know, back there messing around. Um, on the back, there's a part that's kind of rotten, so I'm going to get in there and see if there's any flesh that is salvageable. And I'm going to boil it up and um, hopefully be able to use it for something. Here's the first one that's been cut open, and honestly, this doesn't look too good. Yeah, that's down. That's the side that was cracked. Um, so you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to scoop all the pulp out and divide it amongst the chickens. Um, there's no, doesn't look like there's any mold on it. And then just cut the flesh up and see if I can get the chickens to eat it. So let me crack open the other one and see what it looks like. This is the second one, and the flesh actually looks better. But this side kind of has a funny, funny odor to it. And this is the side that was kind of like broke open over there. So I think what I'm going to do, there's just not enough pumpkin here to do anything with. Um, I'm going to scoop out the flesh. Whatever flesh looks like it would be okay for the chickens. I'm going to give it to them. Let them have the seeds. Uh, chop up the flesh and just see if they like it. I know that they loved pumpkin last year. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Honestly, this is all I'm going to feed them. Uh, the flesh, it just, it didn't smell right to me. It just doesn't seem right, so I'm not going to feed it to my chickens. Um, I don't know if I've got any worms alive in my worm bin, but I may just throw that in there and, and see if I can't get them to eat some of it up. So, once the chickens come in from free-ranging, I'm going to give them some of this. See that there? That is the beautiful ball jar that the lovely Miss Carrie B sent me. And turns out it is the perfect size for a whole box, a big box of Jiffy Baking Mix. So that's what I put in there. I just put one of those little 
um, food preserver packets down into it and that's what I'm going to use this jar for. I got the little baby chickens out in the yard today. I wish they'd go out in the sun. They sure are growing. Yeah, Patsy, she got into that little area back there. I've got it closed off so the free-ranging chickens can come in and there's some water in there. She got in there somehow and Miss Coco was going after her big time. So, yeah, I don't think they're ready to integrate yet, but look at how big they've gotten. They've gotten almost all of their feathers, their fluffy butts. Look at that flame. And that's Rocky too. That's Patsy. Oh, they're all... I wish one of these other blacker chickens would turn around because they've got some beautiful coloring on their chest. It looks like... See that? Looks like it's uh, barred rock kind of crossed with the Easter egger. I cannot wait to see these chickens develop. This one looks more black Asian because it's got the blue tint in it. This one too, but this one's also got some brownish coloring. One of these days I'll get a picture of their chest um, because they're all just really, really gorgeous. I think this one is Waldo over here. Um, uh, just gorgeous. Some bluish, almost purplish hints to their colors. But they're getting big, you guys. They sure are. Yep, so I'm just going to let them out in the yard for a couple more hours, and then I'll make them go back up into the van and let the rest of them come back into the yard. But they're ready to get outside. Look how big. Let me put my boot up so you can kind of get an idea how big they've gotten. Let's see if you can see that coloring. Oh my goodness. Pretty sure that's a rooster, could be wrong, but either way, gorgeous, gorgeous. Do you see some purplish hints? I do. Oh my gosh, look at that puppy. Oh, you dropped it down there. There's no way I can get it either. Oh, you poor thing. That was Papa's bone anyhow. I'll get you some little tiny bones. There you go. Those are the beef and bacon <laughs> little bones. I think they're a better size for these little puppies. And they love them. They haven't quite figured out how to consume them yet, but I'm sure no to Oh, spoke too soon. Sonny's on it. Sonny is on it. <laughs> oh, yes, Miss Carrie B sent me those. The temperature is actually starting to cool down. I think it got down to maybe 41, 42 last night. For me, that's just fine. That's great sleeping weather. And Papa, he loves the cold, but these little puppies do not. So um, I'm going to get one of those buffalo check tote thingies um, that somebody sent me and fill it up with some wood and some, you know, of all different sizes and start me a fire tonight for the first time this season. Looking forward to it. I might even cook something on top of it. I'm not sure what yet, but probably a pot of beans. <laughs> you know how much I love beans. Anyhow, um, well, today was just kind of like a random day and I got a few more things done, just kind of like some housekeeping type stuff. I also washed some of the uh, puppy blankets that I've, I've got plenty of them. I went to the dollar store and got some of their little tiny baby blankets. And so they're hanging up to dry right now. And I keep cycling them out every couple of days. I have to wash blankets in case, you know, one of the puppies has a little accident. Um... So really, honestly, you guys, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.